Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production. Last week I went over the oscillator sync module and today I'm gonna to show you how to use that same oscillator sync, but now with FM. So one of the cool things about M Sound Factory is you can use audio rate modulation. So let's get into that. I have this here, it's just a saw wave and in the FX section I just have a light reverb. A little bit of reverb, I, I kinda of like that. Uh, so let's get into it here. We have the oscillator sync module here. Now we play it. Doesn't really sound too different. But what we're going to do is move the semitones like this. But now we're going to go in here. Let's try moving this to 24 steps. I guess it would be 25. There we go. So we have 24 steps, exactly two off. Now we'll go in here, get our LFO, see what this is doing. Ooh, track. Let's play this. Now we can set the initial phase too, so it's not, not always starting like that. Now it's random. That's okay if you want to do that. But uh, here what I want to do is use follow note frequency. What this is going to do is Create FM by making the LFO be the same frequency as the note we're playing. So click enable. Actually, I'll play it before. After. Now let's play that with that off. So I think that's really cool, but there's of course more cool things you can do with it. Just like this, a bit different, but let's try moving the octaves. So let's move it down an octave. And let's try some of the different waveforms here. So this is on the sine wave. With this, I find if I get too low, it doesn't sound so good, like here. Like that. So then I might want to move up an octave. You can try even going lower, like two octaves. So let me play a high note. So you can do all sorts of stuff, but I think negative one octave is good. Now, besides playing with that, another thing we can play with is the semitones. Now, the closer to an octave it sounds, it's going to be better, but... If I move it off just slightly, it's going to sound really rough like this. Now, if you want that sound, you can definitely do that. But I think around maybe five like this usually sounds good. Or I think seven sounds good. So, of course, 12 sounds good and zero sounds good. But these are just some examples. That was five, seven. Let me put it back to five. I like that a little bit better. Experiment with that yourself to see how that goes. Since we'll also change it, but it's not as dramatic, but it will kind of make it sound worse in my opinion. I don't really like that, but of course, play with that if you like. Uh, another thing you could do, you could do a fade in if you wanted like this. You can actually do transforms with this as well, but I don't think it's quite as dramatic as what I would like. I think if you're going to do that, you might be better off doing it in here, in the oscillator sync like this. Switch this to the square. One cool thing we can do here though, is if we look at the level here, this is gonna control how much of that FM comes through. So if I move it to zero, but if I move it up, it increases.
So this is a really cool thing to modulate. So if I set this at zero, and then I just come in here, and instead of using an LFO or an envelope, let's try using our mod wheel here. So now when I play this, actually set this all the way to 200 here. When I use my mod wheel, I'll be able to adjust this as I play. Maybe 200% was a bit too much there, but you can set that however you like. That just hopefully gave you some ideas of what you can do with this with FM. I think this sounds really good, and there's a lot of really cool possibilities with this that maybe I didn't even go over. But uh, hopefully it showed how you can use this follow note frequency to create FM inside the oscillator sync for some really cool sounds that are hard to get with other synthesizers. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, leave me any questions or comments down below, and please check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.